Hello my family members, today I will discuss a coding question that was asked on Accenture on campus drive 10th August 2023 and repeated again on 22nd August. I will solve this code using Python but at any moment of this video I will share C++ code and Java code as well, right? Okay, let's see what's the question. So the question is regarding find the number there is a series of words consisting of only a b c d and e the words forming from these sequences represent a number you are given a string str your task is to find the print number right and that represents by the string note that following string represents the number from 1 to 10 respectively a b c d e a a a b a c a d and a e so here input format given the input consists of a single line the line contains the string str and the output format is print a number represented by the string str and constraints are also given follow that here is the sample input that is if we take ba as input then you will get output 11 how let's check the sequence a b c d e right then it will start again from a so a a a b a c a d a e then it will start from b so b a b b b c b d b e right then it will start from d a d b d c as it as it is right okay now in this sequence look at here here b a represents the number 11 right just sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 right okay now if we take a as input then we will get one as output if and if we take b c then we will take the output as what we will get the output 11 12 13 right so in this way we will actually have to solve the problem okay let's see what is the solution before we proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel to get such content and please watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus all coding question and Accenture assessment based playlist right link will be given in the description box okay let's see what is the solution so at first let me define a function to find the number represented by a given string right so let's say dev find number find number and s as input sorry argument right then define the alphabet representing characters a to e right a l p alphabet is equal to a b c d e right and then we will initialize a variable to store the final numeric value right let's say num is equal to 0 then we will iterate through each character in the input string s right so for char in s now we will calculate the numeric value for the current character and update num right so num is equal to num multiply length of alphabet right actually we are multiplying num by length of the alphabet to shift digits to the left right okay now we will actually add the index of current character in the alphabet and add one since the numbering starts from one right okay now just num last is equal to alphabet dot index of care one now just return the calculated numeric value this will give proper output right so return num okay let's just take the input then it will be proper code right so now st is equal to let's say input and we will print the find number function right find number st okay i hope this will give justified output okay let's see if this is right or wrong so for input ba this should give 11 right and it is and for a this should give 1 okay this is okay and for b b it should give 12 right okay this is fully fine so i hope you have got the logic right so if you still having any problem in the syntaxes or logic then please let me know i will solve in your I will solve your queries in the comment box, right? Okay, let's see what is the C++ code and Java code, right? So here is the C++ code given here. So please pause the video and solve. 
or take the screenshot right okay let's see the java code that is here given right okay i hope you have taken the screenshot or got paused the video right so i hope you have been benefited from this session if you think so and you want to be benefited in the upcoming days then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus preparation based playlist right okay thank you for today's session